This is the Playscape. A few years ago, I did a quick little review and explanation of this Playscape. I forgot, it's a Summit. I don't even remember, but I'm gonna link the original video below where I described this thing. It's old now. It's been here for a few years. I can't even remember how many years. I think it was 2017 when we put this up. So now I'm just gonna give it a makeover. I'm painting it white. I don't know, I've never seen any playscapes that were white before, but I'm gonna make this look kind of like a real house because I'm gonna put some shingles on the roof. But I'm just showing how it's looking now after a few years of use, it has gone through it and it's looking a little worn. So I'm gonna paint this up put shingles on the roof and I'm gonna spray paint around the windows and everything so some of it is gonna be spray painted but I have all my supplies right over here this is outdoor porch patio paint that's gonna be for the roof of the house with the shingles this is what I'm planning to use for the windows and I'm gonna start with the white paint just to cover the green and then go over it with this one because I'm only using leftover paint and this is all that I have left. And this is like half a can. So um, this is more of the patio paint. The key for this, and this is just white exterior paint. The first thing I'm gonna do is do a light sanding here to get rid of some of the, you know, oh, I don't even know what this is it's just that stuff that grows on trees really pretty much and it's like just the outside to get that edge off this thing looks bad too I'm thinking about how I can fix this up maybe just I don't know if I want to invest in something but definitely want to make it look cuter and I just think it would get be nice to paint it so I'm going to try that my kids don't use this too much. We started storing wood in here for the fireplace. So I'm gonna have to take this down and maybe put that back up later. But for now, this is how it's looking. And today is, what's the date? It's June, what's the date? Today is June 11th, 2021. Oh, and my mother donated some flowers and she planted those for us so I'm gonna have to protect those from the spray paint when I do that all right so if you're interested in seeing this get a little makeover then please keep watching
so the last thing I'm gonna do is use this leftover patio paint this is concrete porch and patio paint that's leftover and I just poured it into this old Talenti jar I'm gonna use this it's a dark gray color I'm gonna paint the door with this color leaving the um, window pane white as opposed to painting it this turquoise and I'm gonna leave that white just because it's on the door so again it's gonna be this gray color around on the green part and same thing on the roof I have some shingles I'm gonna paint the shingles with this and then once they dry I'm gonna attach them to the roof and right over here are the shingles got these from Home Depot cedar shingles the wood on the, the play set is cedar as well so I'm just gonna take this apart lay these out paint them with the gray and then probably use a staple gun to attach them to the roof of the playset. No, I want to do it, but I don't think I should. Why not? The very last thing I'm going to do is put some nails in there because this these shingles are not flat down. So I'm going to use my little nailer with these short nails. I don't know what length this is, but 
think it might be five eighths of an inch. Not sure, but that's what I'm using. I'm gonna put the lay those shingles down flatter. So. This is a final look at the roof. And here's the finished result. The gray shingles, the turquoise windows, the white framed door, with the gray wooden door, and all of the white parts. The spray painted tarps for the roofs and the monkey bars. But this is how it's looking now. I think it looks great. I'm gonna spray it down with water um, with the hose every so often just to keep it fresh. But I just want it to look cute in the yard. And I think it's a vast improvement. All right, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.